Okay, so I'm in Compton, California, and I'm going to remodel the bathroom of the house I grew up in. So I'm at my mom's house here, and this is a really tiny, tiny bathroom in California. The houses are so expensive, everything's small. It's a five by seven and a half, and I'm going to do some major changes to this bathroom. Uh, my mom is needing wheelchair accessibility now, so the shower is out. And we're going to put a curbless shower right across here, a little bit wider than the shower itself. And to facilitate with, you know, hygiene, I'm going to move the sink to the corner and the toilet between the sink and the shower. Okay, so when, when the toilet goes here, it's going to be a tankless toilet so that the toilet itself is going to be an elongated toilet. But if you look back here, you have this whole tank that causes the whole tank, the whole toilet to be moved out a oh, good 10 inches. So by putting a, a, a toilet that has a tank in the wall, it's recessed in the wall and covered up, you never see it. All you will see is a small panel here. We have the flush for liquids and flush for solids. And uh, so it's really space saving. Uh, it makes it home so much easier to clean up because now you'll have, it, the toilet doesn't even touch the ground. So anything can be washed over and it will go into a curbless toilet or a curbless tub which will have a long drain that goes from that other wall all the way across right about there to this wall, so five foot long. But it's going to be a clean up a lot easier and just maintenance a lot easier. And, um, and then I'm going to tile this whole wall. I'm going to put a larger window, drop it down about another foot. And then uh, it'll have a wainscot behind the, um, the sink and the toilet all the way over to this wall right here. So it just saw this would be all the water area and this floor right here will slope this way to meet the linear drain set and this side will slope this way to meet the linear drain set. So again it will keep it'll be maintenance, make the maintenance a lot easier, clean up a lot easier and just make it really accessible for my mom. Okay, we're back here with my mom's now uh, dubbed Beverly Hills bathroom in Compton. And I'll just do a quick pass on everything so you can see what's going on. All right, so there is the toilet. It's called an in-wall tank. And it hangs off the wall, if you look below. It doesn't even touch the ground, which makes it easier for cleaning, real simple design. Very easy to clean. Um, it has an actuator on the wall. One is for solids, one is for liquids. And it just makes it real convenient so that she can scoot herself over into the shower. And uh, do any hygiene issues she has. Uh, I put uh, three niches on the walls, as you can see. And this is a really nice one, it's uh, like seven inches deep. Came out really nice. Uh, I also added a, I raised the shower head, but it's on a, a wand so that she can sit here. This is a grab handle, really solid. And she can adjust the shower head to whatever height she needs to shower herself as she sits in her chair. This is a folding chair, so it can be folded up that way. And one of the benefits we did anticipate with this was that now that she has um, this curbless shower, uh, it turns out that she can roll in with her wheelchair and turn herself about in here, barely makes it, and then come, she can come out real easy. Before, I thought she'd have to drive in and back out, which is not a good thing, but it worked out that she could actually make that U-turn there. And then there's a sink, two drawers, and I added another outlet to that. And then uh, 
in the wall vanity uh, medicine chest. And one of the things I made sure of, because it's my mom and, you know, I don't want to have a slip and fall and there's a problem, is I made sure that this is um, this cabinet here has uh, the door on the door side or the big door side because if the drawers were here and these drawers were out and she were to have a, an emergency situation, this door wouldn't be able to open because the drawer would block it. So I was sure to put the drawers over here so that now if the drawer is open and someone has to come in, they can easily just stick their hand in, close the drawer and come on in and help her however she needs to help with. Um, also, uh, you can, I put this uh, the little uh, backsplash here that matches the uh, the back of the niches, so it kind of ties everything together. And she wanted some river rock down there, and that all goes into that linear drains that we spoke of before. But worked out really nice, very nice bathroom, and she's really enjoying it. And I'm so glad we were able to get this done for her, so she can. Uh, just make her uh, trips to the bathroom a whole lot more easier than they were before. Also, I also was able to widen that door from a 24 inch to a 30 inch door. And she can roll in here just fine. Anyways, I hope you uh, liked this new bathroom for her. I know she does. I know I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I'm just so glad we were able to get it done. Thank you.